Si profesor, ¿qué me hace sonar? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing? Good. Hello. Good evening. Good. Very good. All right. Ready. Ready. Okay. Hello, good evening. Okay, this is the last uh, practice we had yesterday, right? When we were talking about quantifiers. We don't know the exact percentage of something. We use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all and then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns. Except, no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Okay, good. So this is a reminder of the quantifiers that we have been... So in other words, study, and then right? you work down the scale. Just remember the, the vocabulary, which is all nearly all, most, and yesterday we said that most is different from almost, right? A many, a lot of, some, not many, a few and few, and no one. And the difference at the end with no one is that no one is followed by a verb. 
in the other cases, okay, it is followed by a noun in plural. Okay, all nearly most families, all nearly all most people. Okay, many, a lot of some families, or many, a lot of some cars. Okay, you're gonna use here a noun in plural. So these are the, the things that you have to remember or keep, keep in mind, okay, with this vocabulary of quantifiers. Later, you will see more, okay, there are more like uh, very, okay, very, uh, very few, okay, some, uh, well, some is there, uh, you can also use any negative sentences and questions, okay, so there are others, okay, these are some of the quantifiers. Um, let's see here. And then we did yesterday the, now let's check. Okay, and here we have participants will read an article about families and their changes. Okay, and after that, we have to answer some questions. But first, let's see the, what the article is about. Okay, the change in family. Now we have here the change in family is read the title of the article, then check the question you think the article will answer. Okay, there are two questions below. Why do women work outside the home? And what happens when both parents work? What do you think the article is about? Minor? About women work outside the home or when both parents work? The first one or the second? Okay, Astrid? Which one do you think? Is, is it this one or this one? What is going to be the article about? It's a guess. That's what not even answer. No problem. Choose one. The first one. The first one. Okay. Why do women work outside the home? All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if that happens. Okay. Uh, okay. Luis Alberto, read the first paragraph, please. Oh, sorry, we we'll begin with American. Here, the first paragraph. Hey, Luis. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, the first. The first paragraph. The first paragraph here. American families are changing. Changing. One important. Changing. 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 Uh -huh. One important changing changes the most that most married women not work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Okay, the Morales family, right? So here you can see that we're talking about what happens when both parents work. Okay, it could be one. Good. Then, uh, Saul. Read the second paragraph. Okay, Ju Judy and Steve Morales have three children, Josh, 12, Ben, nine, and Emily, six. Steven is a computer program programmer. This year, 
Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the, mo the money and jo Judy likes her how Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Okay, now we have jobs, okay, her jobs. Jobs, yes. jobs. Okay, good. Okay. Then you have in the first paragraph uh, about American families, right? And then American families are changing. One important change is that they are married, women work outside the home, and what is the problem they have when both of them work outside, okay? Good. Now, do you see anything similar in El Salvador? Okay. Turn, apply the microphone. Uh, turn off the microphone, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, then what are some uh, similarities that we see in El Salvador? Opinions, please. Give me your opinions. What are some similarities here in El Salvador about these changes, right? The most families of in El Salvador, mm -hmm. the, the women and the, and, and the men working work in the, in the house work in the house uh, work uh, outside, outside the house. house outside outside, outside the house mm -hmm. um, long time ago uh, the families have three four five children and now only two or one this similarity is not okay today is is difficult Fine family with three children, young. Mm -hmm. the, the most, uh, the most families have one or two. One but or two. One or two, but uh, both parents were out work outside home. Okay, good. That's correct. So, okay, this is one opinion. What else? Anybody else who has another opinion? Similar to Alan, that you can add. Come on. Some opinions about you, about this, the changes in comparisons to El Salvador. Now, what Alan says is true, right? That nowadays there are what? Mm. Probably, uh -huh, man. Uh, the family needs much, much money. Mm -hmm. Why? Because because a uh, woman needs need joy job need work. Sorry. Needs work. Uh -huh. The family needs more money. Okay, but why? Why do the family need more money? The family. Mm. Why do families need more money? Teacher. Yes. Okay, I think the family or the woman need to work out of, of home because if if the family is 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 bigger, uh, more children need to study and need to pay the the college. Uh, need to pay the transport, uh, the the place where uh, where the where we live is more expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, every everything is expensive. Everything is expensive, yeah. right? Yes. Okay, Spe especially the houses, right? Especially the houses. Yes. Houses yes. are very expensive nowadays. Then you have to spend a life, right? So it's almost a life 
you spend all your life paying the house. Okay, so it's very complicated. Okay, good. So, that's you know that's one that's one uh, that's another reason. Okay, because you know we need to live better. But there are more reasons. Okay, think more. Vamos más allá. Vamos más allá. Pensemos más. Right? There are other reasons too. That's okay. Think more. La idea es practicar más. What else? What are other changes? Now, Javier and Alan, they gave, yeah, they gave some opinions, but there are more reasons. In the other teacher, in the other problem is uh, the work. Uh, no hay mucho trabajo. ¿Cómo se dice? There is not, there are not, there are not, there are not any job opportunities any job opportunity mm -hmm. uh, be, because the person emigrant uh, emigrar perdón sorry how do you say leave the country they leave the country they leave the country uh, um, yeah, uh, and here ma um, send money uh the salvador they send they send money to El Salvador. Okay, yeah, but okay, but still, what is another reason? Why do we need money? Why do we need more money? Lo que decía Luis, I pay uh, me, uh, eat. Food, uh, the, the food, the food, uh, internet is very important today. Important today. Los servicios, los primeros servicios, el agua, luz, basic services. Uh -huh, the, ba the basic uh -huh, service, uh, basic things that we need to live, right? Yes, the bills. Mm -hmm. In El Salvador, is is much much the, the family have much children, many children. Okay, uh, the utilities we have to pay. But uh, um, do you think is is because the all these services are expensive, or the salaries are low? What happened? What is the reason? Life is expensive or the salaries are low? Teacher, I think, mm -hmm. uh, I think both, but it is, we, we don't have uh, education for administrate the money. Okay, that's a good reason. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You know that, uh, and what Javier has said something very important, right? Uh, this was like, I will tell you what I saw in a bank, like probably uh, six, seven years ago, maybe five or six years ago. I was in the bank, okay, uh, standing in line, and in front of me there was a a young boy, less than less than 18 years old, because he didn't have an ID, he didn't have the duty, right? So he was with an, a very old lady, probably her grandmother, right? And they were there in the bank. The lady had a check, the old lady, and then she cashed the check because uh, she had the identification. The little boy, I mean, the boy didn't have the, the, the ID. And then what do you think happened when the lady received the money? She took the money and immediately gave the money to the child, to the boy. Okay, probably the parents sent the money to the boy. 
okay? And you could see the boy wearing Nike shoes, uh, Tommy jeans, and a nice shirt. So the boy was spending the money and, and a cell phone, probably spending the money on nothing, on expensive things. Instead, like Javier says, we don't have education to take care of the money. Probably this boy was receiving money, a lot of money maybe from the United States, and spending, wasting the money, desperdiciando, right? Wasting the money on shoes, jeans, and nice shirts. And, and the lady, and, the, and you should see the lady, you should have seen the lady. The old lady was wearing in a very humble way, being vestida humildemente, the old lady. And probably was the grandmother. Probably was the, the lady taking care of him, right? So then this is true. So Javier has said something very important. Also in El Salvador, we don't have more money because uh, the consumerism, right? El consumismo nos ha llevado, right? Especially the young generations to have more and work more, work, uh, uh, get money, spend money, get money, spend money, right? So, gano, gasto, gano, gasto, okay? And sometimes gano, mal gasto, right? So then sometimes I make money and I waste. And then instead of investing, okay, we don't have investors mentality. Mentalidad de, in, uh, de inversionistas, right? Or, or entrepre entrepreneurs, emprendedores too, right? So this is, this is the, the, the way that we need to think. Okay, so you see, this is an effect of this paragraph, right? How things are changing in El Salvador. And, and there is another thing, right? Yeah. There are other aspects, este es uno. And there are many others. For example, women, women need what? Yeah. Uh -huh. the, the moms don't, don't, don't pay high interest. Uh -huh. where, yeah, that's where, one. To that's invest, one. Where, where to invest the money? <laughs> in business, in business, ah, in business. Uh, you know, for example, in the banks, in los bancos, lo que pasa es que no lo, no lo dicen, pero si uno mete la página web, tienen áreas donde sí se puede invertir. But, como dice Javier, we need to, we need education, right? Necesitamos saber de economía un poquito para que no nos, para que no nos bajen, right? Like they say, right? So then, uh, and, and then uh, also invest uh, in, uh, in a business, right? Try to get some money in that. Okay, and women, women also need to develop professionally, right? Uh, Carla? Are you there? Yeah. Okay. I need your help. Tell me. Okay. I did you need? Yes. For example, you work on a human resources, right? Yeah. Okay. For example, what do you think about what is the, uh, for example, how, what do you think about women working? Is it good or not? Good. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's normal. Uh -huh, I don't know. But yes, it's uh -huh. important. Okay, that's it's important uh -huh. for Continue. us for our development. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. Continue, please. That's what I want to hear. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, it's important for women work because it's um our development in the society. Mm -hmm. uh, because this is. Um, I don't know how do you say, uh, igual, igualdad, equidad, equality, equality, uh -huh. equality, uh -huh. the equity, um, the equity, then we can uh, uh, help with the economy the, of the family. Exactly, right? So then that's, mm, that's, yeah. that's another, but yeah, that's for another, me it's important. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course it For is. For me, it's important because it's my development mm -hmm. and I, I don't know. I, no, no. I don't like, uh, I don't like uh, when my husband 
tell me this is the money for a uh, sell uh, dresses or sell something. No, I like when I gain the money for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. good. No, no dependo de otra persona. I don't depend. I don't depend on anybody else. Someone else. Mm -hmm. exactly. Someone else. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. 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 I agree with you. Definitely. That's what I was telling you. From here, you can find different points of view, different points of vista, right? Y todos son valederos, right? Because you say, for example, women need to work because uh, a Alguien habló de hace mucho tiempo, Alan, Alan, right? For example, in my days, when I was a little kid, ooh, many, many, many years ago, okay, my mother didn't work. She, uh, she was always at home. Only my father worked, okay? But, uh, but when my sisters, when my sisters uh, were growing up, okay, they, uh, they studied more, okay? They have better preparation, okay? So then, obviously, they had to develop, okay, not only as women, no solo como mujeres, but also as professional. Okay, so then uh, that's, that's why sometimes you can see parents, father, uh, father and mother working outside the house. So the, the point here is to find a balance, right? Uh, there are parents that are fathers in the house that work 12, 15, 16 hours, and the mother too, okay? I think it's, that is too much because you also need to find the balance to stay home and work so that you can also have time with the family, okay? But, you know, these are just, this is my opinion, right? But also depends on the needs, okay? But I consider that salaries are very low in El Salvador and things are m more expensive, okay? Yeah, here, for example, you the minimum wage, salario minimum, the minimum wage is like $300, right? 300. Yes, 300 is very low. It's demasiado bajo, right? So imagine pay the house, rent, uh, water, electricity, food, transportation, school, clothing, shoes, uh, for, for, for four people, it's not sufficient, right? It's not enough. Okay, good. So we can continue talking about this, right? Then, questions about this vocabulary? New words, new expressions? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Household, household crush, chores. Uh -huh. Household chores. Las, eh, Las tareas de casa, right? Household chores, wash the clothes, do the laundry wash the dishes, clean the floor, sweep, mop, cook, uh, what else, iron, plan planchar, lavar, okay, all those, wash clothes, those are household chores, right? Paint, uh, household chores. Mm -hmm. Household right. chores, yes. Okay, so you have to find a balance, right, in the household chores here. Okay. Then, uh, Carla, can you please read the first one here? Now that. What I can... This part. How can... Now, now that, Judy, the first picture. This three mm. line. I don't know what it is. <laughs> in, the, in the first picture that you see here on the right, ah, look, look okay. at the mouse. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, the point. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah. Uh, now that Judith is working, Steve has to help has to help her more with the house housework. Mm -hmm. He doesn't enjoy it. Okay. You see, now that Judith is working, Steve has to help her more with housework. Is similar to household chores. Okay. So household chores and housework are similar. Okay, housework. Good. Now, for example, this is the point, right? That when the woman, when the woman works, the man has to do other things in the house too. Okay, unless, a man okay, there is an agreement, and then you pay another person to do the housework. Okay, that is a another negotiation, right? Good. Uh, let's see now here. Let me check. Um, Ever, can you read the next one, Judy? Judy loves. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She holds. She also works. Also. What is about the children? Judy has to work in Saturday, so Stephen and Judy don't have a lot of free time longer. Together. Together. Together, okay. All right, so you see here, this is one of the, probably the side effects. Okay, los efectos secundarios, right? Judy loves her work, but she feels tired and busy. Uh, she's worried about the children. And now she has to work on Saturdays. Steve also works on Saturdays. And they don't have time for them as a couple, right? As husband and wife. That's a problem sometimes, okay? Good. Uh, Manuel Alberto, Emily, read about Emily. Emily is having a great time in her after a school program. When Judy comes to pick up her, her up, she doesn't want to leave. <laughs> okay. You see, for example, the little girl feels more comfortable in the school than in the house, right? So she's having a great time. Good. Vilma, read about the next one, unfortunately. Seria. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, brain school dance doesn't have and doesn't how in after school program reach now he's speeding spending spending more afternoon in from or day tv okay that's correct okay in the for example here in el salvador this is another problem okay uh, many schools the majority of schools don't have after school programs, okay? Como esas Before. academias de deporte, danza, okay, dance, music, club de tareas, right? The homework club, uh, what else? And all this, that the children stay in the school more time and they do other activities, right? So here in El Salvador, sometimes that is very expensive. So more money. Okay, good. Uh, Tatiana, read the next one, please. Josh. Okay. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He also doing a few houses. Household. Household. 
household chores. Chores, correct. Household chores. Okay. So you see, this is another problem, right? So if the the Emily is having a good time in the school program. Okay, after school program, this boy doesn't have one, so watch TV all the time. And the other one is listening to music, playing music louder, and spending time with the cell phone. Okay, so these are effects, right? Do you think it's similar in El Salvador? Manuel Alberto, do you think these three cases are similar in El Salvador? Yes, teacher, it's similar because uh, when the children no no went to the the school, uh, do you say pierden más tiempo? They waste more time. They waste more time mm -hmm. in watch TV and the cell phone. Uh, only uh, uh, social okay. network. Social network. Uh -huh. Social uh, network and games. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. This time, by, uh, much game. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Okay, Minor, what do you think? What is your opinion? One, one solution to that problem, Minor? Um, one, one solution is... One uh, possible solution. It's a uh, mass activity in the school. Uh, um, recreativas, how do you see activities recreativas? Uh, ludic. Ludic. L ludic. Ludic activities, uh-huh. Ludic, yeah, ludic activities. that's right, ludic, uh-huh. Yes. Um, uh, class in the day thing. Mm -hmm. um, cook. I school in uh, 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 cooking. Uh, cooking lessons. Yes. Probably have different activities. Exercise. Sports. Yes. Bicycle, mm -hmm. right? So these are other activities, okay? But then, uh, or probably have the grandmother or somebody, right? Teach the children more responsibility. It's very complex. This is a complex problem, okay? Now, questions about vocabulary? Any questions about here? Teacher. Yes. Um. Judy comes to pick her up. Mm -hmm. Me suena como que la... A recogerla. La <laughs> <laughs> yes, pick her up. Uh -huh. Pick up es recoger, right? Pick her up is pick Judy. Uh, when Judy comes to pick Emily up. Okay. Suppose that if you don't have a car, then a uh, conference said, okay, so we'll wait for me in... Santa Ana, okay, I, I will pick you up, okay? Yo paso a traerlo, yo paso a recogerlo, right? Good, so this is pick up. Pick me up, recogeme, right? Then if you say, for example, pick you up, pick her up, pick him up, pick them up, okay? So that is pick up, is pasar a traer, a recoger. Good, what else? What else, what else? No more. Okie dokie. Now here it says, read the article, then answer these questions. Write the names of the family members, only the names. Okay, take a look at them. Which children are benefiting from Judy, from Judy working? Uh, 
Emily and John, Josh. Emily and Ben. Ben. Emily and Josh. And Josh. Emily and Josh. And Josh. Okay. Which child is not benefiting from Judith working? Is Ben. Ben. Right. Which family member is enjoying more freedom? Josh. Josh. Okay. Which family members are are doing more housework? Steve. Steve and Josh. Steve and Josh. And Josh. Which family members feels Judy. too busy? What? Judy. 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 Okay. All right, so you have Emily and Josh, Ben, Josh, Steve and Josh, and then we also have Judy. All of them correct, right? And there you go. Yeah. Okay, so then basically that's the that's the unit five, the section five. Okay, now a you see. There is reloading, loading, loading, loading here. Okay, now a, we have time today because tomorrow we're going to have another activity but uh, uh, right now uh, we have some time and I want you to tell me for example if you have uh, some uh, exercises on the platform any kind of problem we can solve it in this moment okay si tienen alguna Duda de la plataforma, ejercicios, podemos hacerlo ahorita. Only, only ex, examen final. Okay, then tomorrow we'll in the In the section 2. Section 2, okay. El examen final, mañana vamos a ver algo de eso. Okay, y otra actividad. And then here, how do you spend your day? This one? Section 2. Where? No. No? No problem? In the section three, how much? Teacher. Yes. A mí no me acepta el apóstrofe en la, en la sección uno, el ejercicio 1.12. Y ya intenté copiar, pegar, intenté contestar lo del celular, de la computadora y no me lo acepta. Ok. Seen one point twelve. It's taking forever. This one. This is the one, Claudia.
Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What a pause. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let, mm -hmm. let me see. Okay. okay. Here we can see something like this. A. Okay. Yes. Probably. Mm, Let me see. Then okay, try with this one. Don't use the contraction, okay? You can use this one. No, I am not mm -hmm. from the United States. And then you don't use the. Uh, yo tengo ese problema with my computer, que no me acepta los. A veces el, el apostrofe que yo uso. And then uh, try with the contractions. Lo que yo hago en algunos casos, pero aquí estoy viendo que aquí porque tengo yo las respuestas. But, y aquí no veo que en las preguntas hayan contracciones. A veces lo que hago es copiarlo, copy paste del mismo ejercicio y lo, lo busco por acá. O me voy a otro ejercicio donde esté y lo traigo. O sea, esa es otra. Ok, but then you can see here, you can use no, I am not from the United States. Ocupe las mismas respuestas o lo que sin, sin el apóstol. Here the same. Yes, she is from Canada. Okay. And no, yes, it is. Uh, here you said, uh, is, your, is your English class in the morning? You say, yes, it is in the morning. Or no, it is not in the morning. No, sí, no se le olvide las mayúsculas. La coma y el period, okay? Okay, that can be a solution. Okay? Perfect. Okay, people, any other question? Okay, here. In the number three, we had uh, this one. The, we have the demonstrative pronouns. Uh, we had the, which one do you prefer? The preferences and comparison with adjectives, okay? Number four. No. Mm. Oh, okay. The, the section four. That's an objective. Conversation, a real life topic. No. Okay. Uh huh. Hola. Yes, Carmen. Eh, yo sigo teniendo problemas siempre en ese 1.12. Ah, okay. No, no me reconoce. Ya lo contesté varias veces y nada, no me reconoce las respuestas. Y es, eh, usted lo acaba de poner y lo estuve comparando y tengo lo mismo que usted ha puesto y me dice que no, que están malas. Todas. Y no soy tan mala en inglés. Alguien ayer <risa> no, me pero... dijo que era mala. <risa> eh, pero <risa> si, ya la vimos, si son las mismas de acá... Déjame ver. Déjame ver. Déjame ver. Déjame ver. Déjame ver. Déjame Let's suppose I use, let me see here, no, I am not, okay. Let's see, I won't come back up. In the door, submit. Okay. Si ve, si yo como hice ese cambio, Tendría que, tendría que definitivamente cambiarme la nota. Entonces vengo yo acá, le pongo, digamos que ya me equivoqué, not. Ok, entonces lo doy submit. 
y lo corrige. Entonces, este, hay que ver bien los espacios, es que esto, este, este es bien, es bien, es bien a veces tiene errores y es bien estricto al mismo tiempo, porque con un puntito que le haga falta, se lo pone mal. ¿Cuál está usando este? Usted, usted la de contraction o no de contraction. Visions. Pues es, ¿are you from the United States? Let's see. Vamos a ver una cosa acá. Vamos a hacer otra prueba. Copy. And paste. Okay, I changed the answer. Siempre me da. O sea, aunque las cambie, me va a dar correcto. Entonces, solo hay que bueno, poner atención si le, pues, una foto. Ajá, si le ha tomado. Si le ha tomado. Una foto si le ha tomado. Pantalla, si le ha tomado. Ajá. Y si no me sale, yo le escribo. Sí. Y para if, que me ayude. Exacto, no problem. Ok. Solo vea que pone los puntos, coma, la, por ejemplo, mayúscula. Veamos acá otro. Uh -huh. Veamos los posibles escenarios. Va, por ejemplo, acá mire, no, no me penaliza si le pongo en minúscula. ¿eh? Aunque no está correcto porque siempre tiene que ser la I mayúscula. Ok, pero por ejemplo, en este caso no lo penaliza. Eh, then let's say I am... Let me see, vamos a cometer por acá. No sé si estamos from the Unite. Ok. Ok, por ejemplo, esos no los, no, no, no hay problema. Los acepto. Ok, aunque en las respuestas aquí no aparece como una opción, pero sí lo acepta. Entonces puede hacer, como le digo, en, el, en la contracción, puede ser el apóstrofe, el punto, la coma, eh, let me see what else. All these are the possibilities. Ok, miren, la mayúscula aquí tampoco. O sea, las mayúsculas no hay problema. But probably, if I don't have the coma. La coma sí. ¿eh? Si ya no uso la coma y si ya me, me la pone incorrecta. Ok. Ok, so those are the options. Entonces, véalo ahí. Si le sigan algún problema, vemos qué es. Algo que haga falta. O si ya es algún problema de la plataforma, entonces me lo envía. Minor, eh, ya me respondieron que ya, ya tomaron su caso ahí en, la, en las oficinas. Ok. Esperamos que le resuelvan lo lo de la plataforma. Ok, teacher. Ok, así que cualquier cosa, si no le resuelven mañana, me avisa. Para, yo voy a preguntar mañana de todos modos eh, cómo va el, cómo va su caso. Ok. Good. Okay. Perfect. Ok, people. Then, uh, eh, let me see. Tomorrow we're going to Okay, not here. Okay, tomorrow's activity is, it has to do with oral practice. Uh, we are going to make two converse, we're going to work in groups, okay? We're going to work in groups from the beginning and we are going to create uh, conversations using the different tenses, okay? So you're going to, I'm going to give you two topics Okay, for example, uh, two people in a restaurant. Okay, the three, uh, let's say two people in a restaurant, two people at the airport, uh, probably two people in a drugstore. I'm going to give you uh, situations. Okay, I'm going to give you some situations and you're going to do the role play. Do you know the role play? Yes? Ya han hecho el ejercicio de role play? Role play. Okay. 
the role play are a uh, for example suppose that a uh, manuel uh, minor and luis okay you have to uh, you have to create a conversation uh, about a in a restaurant okay then one of you is the waiter uno va a ser el mesero right or bartender if you want okay and the other two the clients the customers okay and then you have to create a conversation in a restaurant okay for example uh, let's say that one of the, the waiter come good evening gentlemen may i help you and i say oh yes uh, we need to uh, we need to order our food and then you start talking about the food okay yo le voy a traer ya las el vocabulario que van a utilizar Okay, y las conversaciones, lo único que no sé a quién le va a tocar qué, right? In this moment. Vamos a rifarlo mañana, okay? And then you create the conversations with that material. A mí siempre okay. me tocan los mismos. ¿Ah? Todo, toda la, todo el curso me ha tocado los mismos. ¿Cómo los mismos? Los mismos compañeros. Ah, de veras. Bueno, <risa> este, bueno, bueno, está bueno que me lo digo, como yo siempre ocupo el del, lo que tira la máquina. Okay, pero mañana vamos a hacerlo diferente, don't worry. Vamos a usar la ruleta rusa. No, no, ya no, ok, no problem. No, no, ya, ya, no, ya se quejó, no problem. Ya, ya lo oyeron. <laughs> ok. Then you don't want to be with Pablo, right? No. Yeah. Ok, or, or with Pablo. Minor. O minor, ok. You don't want minor in your group. Ok, Saúl. people. And Saúl. <laughs> ok, so then uh, that's for tomorrow, ok. So prepare. Uh, tomorrow we have oral practice. Y luego chequeamos un poco el... El final test, por si hay algunas dudas o algo. And that's it. Okay? So, have a good night. I will see you tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Okay? Good night. Bye, people. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.